Assalamu alaikum. This is inspiring Seed Musroom. Today I will discuss talent management strategy. Why it is important? People, they are the heart of any business, any company. When people they are working, they are bringing talent into the companies, into the workplace. And on the basis of their talent, they are going to produce the results and then make the organization and the company grow. Talent management is that simple. It starts with the onboarding process. Then it covers compensation, rewards and recognition, managers, behaviors and attitudes, work culture, diversity and inclusiveness and so on. There is no universal approach which is 100% structured and that is applicable to any organization, any company. There are certain factors which are universal in nature as far as talent management is concerned, but there cannot be one size fit for all. Every organization has to customize the talent management strategy. The purpose of the talent management strategy is to retain the people. Talent itself is not simple. It comprises of skills, attributes, behaviors, competencies, mindset, thinking process. So when we are talking about managing the talent, then it is not simple. It is really comprehensive and complex. There are certain challenges when there is a question of talent management strategy. Nowadays, technology is the core. Any organization which does not take help of the technology in managing their talent, they will have a challenge. Workforce, the mindset, the values of the people, it should be aligned with the company goals. Hybrid and remote culture. This is another challenge. When you are talking about managing the talent and in an environment where the people, they are either working remotely or they are partly working remotely and partly they are in the office, in the workplace. How will you manage those people? How will you manage their talent? This is another challenge. Then the overall work culture. In the post-pandemic times, the work culture has changed. When we are saying that it is either hybrid or remote work culture, and there are very few organizations, very few companies where the 100% people, they are sitting in the offices. So the work culture is another challenge. How the managers and the companies, they will take care of such challenges, this is depending on their abilities. And this is depending on their understanding of the talent, how they value, how they appreciate, and how they recognize the talent. And they have to think out of the box. I will discuss six important factors or facets of the talent management strategy, which are performance management, talent acquisition, continuous learning and development, succession planning and uh, leadership development, employee retention, and these are the factors that I will discuss one by one. Starting with the performance management, managing the performance of the employees is important. This is the core, this is the essence. How you are managing the performance? What is your performance appraisal process? How the rewards and recognition, these are being considered what is the promotion policy? What are the structured learning and development initiatives that are being taken by the companies and by the organizations? So performance management is very comprehensive. Organizations, the companies, they have to think about the performance management process and it should be really structured, it should be really comprehensive. Under the performance management, what is the career mobility policy of the organization? How the succession planning is being done? What are the other factors of diversity and inclusivity? Those are considered by the companies and uh, then the work culture is more positive, more productive, where the people, they feel happy and their performance.
from is is managed effectively because the employees they need both vertical and horizontal growth so the overall growth and career mobility policy this plays an important role in the performance management process then comes the talent acquisition talent acquisition is not simply uh, employee recruitment and selection it is a strategic process what is the workforce planning what how the job analysis is done what are the uh, core competencies and the functional competencies which are considered by the companies when they are designing the job descriptions and when they are hiring the people because your talent management will start with hiring the people if you are hiring the right people with the right skill set which is needed by the companies the talent management process will be easier otherwise the gap will be wider and the companies they will have to invest a lot of time energies and uh, the funds to manage the performance of the employees if they are not hired with the right skill set so talent acquisition is another factor which is very important then comes the succession planning and leadership development succession planning is to focus on the critical positions on the managerial positions on the positions which are really very important whether those are technical and non technical in the companies in uh, ensuring the business continuity succession planning process depends on the size of the company if the size of the company is small or medium the process will be simple but if the the organization is really large and big in size the succession planning process will be complex as well so the the organizations the managers the companies they have to think innovatively how to design succession planning because it is futuristic it is long term it will take years it will not take even months and maybe in certain positions it takes months but it takes years to develop a successor for an important position particularly those positions which are uh, these top senior level positions c suite uh, uh, roles so those positions are important for the business continuity and their retention is important how they are being prepared how they are being developed what are the interventions uh, learning and development training and development mentorship uh, so such kind of interventions will be needed so that a comprehensive and effective succession planning is uh, carried out then comes uh, the diverse and inclusive work culture nowadays when the organizations they are keeping the resources across the board in, in different countries they are having people from different uh, social backgrounds cultural backgrounds there is a diversity in terms of talent in terms of uh, social backgrounds in terms of their uh, countries their uh, nationality so creating this kind of culture where the talent is diverse people are sitting in different countries in different environment and when there is a question of handling difficult processes situations and making decisions the collecting wisdom will play a role all these people they will come together they will talk about different issues and problems and then they will provide innovative solutions which play an important role in the overall business growth in the overall business success so an inclusive and diverse culture plays an important role in the talent management process then comes the employee retention employee retention is not simple employee retention involves how people's career are being taken care of how their learning is ensured uh, how the compensation and benefits these are being given to the people what is the rewards and recognition policy whether the people they are really satisfied there is a diversity equity in the organization in terms of uh, opportunities in terms of considering uh, them for the higher positions giving them the right uh, learning and uh, development opportunities so these are the employee retention initiatives which have to be ensured by the organization by the companies learning and development is a continuous process and it plays uh, a central role in the overall talent management learning and development activities should be properly structured and designed need based trainings will play an important role development strategies like mentorship uh, giving uh, the roles uh, of job shadowing giving stretch projects to the people 
so that they could be prepared for the future roles and uh, their career growth is ensured. So the companies and the managers, they have to think innovatively. They have to take benefit of the uh, annual performance reviews, uh, training need assessments, uh, 360 degree feedback, talking to the people, taking their interviews, and, uh, and it is how they can understand and assess that what people need uh, to develop their profile further, to learn new skills, to gain new knowledge. Uh, then there are uh, uh, educational programs for the executive levels. So there are different initiatives that are taken by the companies so that the learning and development side of the employees, it is ensured. Today, the people from the Gen Z, they are really very much conscious about their learning. They want uh, a purposeful and meaningful work. They want to work in companies where their continuous learning and growth is ensured. The managers, they are caring, they are positive, and they think uh, out of the box how to develop their people so that they could be prepared for the future. The real purpose of today's managers should be to prepare the future leaders. So the overall talent management strategy, it will play an important role uh, to develop the people in a way that they are going to align their values, their skill set, their competencies with the overall business goals of the organizations. So it is how a good combination can be created. Talent management will be beneficial for the companies and for the organizations. So the managers, HR department, HR experts and professionals, they should sit together and they should chalk out a talent management strategy, which is being reviewed on regular basis, at least on annual basis, so that it could be aligned with the need of the organization and with the need of the people. Because when we are talking about the growth, about the uh, career mobility, both the organization and the people, they should grow side by side. It is how the talent management process will be effective. So I hope that this video will benefit the professionals, the managers, and the HR experts in a way so that they can design a good customized talent management strategies for their companies. Please uh, provide me your feedback in the comments and I will try to make some more structured videos uh, about the talent in the future. Thank you very much. Have a good day.